Hello YouTube, it's about that time again that I start going back on my channel and posting videos. What other appropriate way to come back to my channel than painting random objects and talking about conspiracy theories? Also, I have some tea. Literal tea. Oh, I also should mention that um, for family members watching this uh, channel, which you, you probably don't, I see none of my family members on here, uh, this is not gonna be PG-13, so uh, beware of that now, because my mother encouraged me to be me and be myself in videos, and then right after told me I shouldn't cuss. But my point is, I'm gonna be the real genuine me, starting with, I don't know where the fuck I got this from, my brushes. Um, this one's a little bit black because I painted some black stuff with it. Oh, I don't even know where my other brushes are. Um, because I painted some other stuff with my brushes, but yeah, it's all black now. Um, some acrylics that my boyfriend got me at some point in the year. I think it's for my birthday or something. A Tokyo Ghoul shot glass box. Shot glasses, not in them. They're somewhere in my kitchen. I, I don't use them. It's an envelope. Oh, and this chapstick right here. You see this world? Thank you. So without, oh, and my cup. Oh, shit, I spilled water. Without further ado, we begin this video of me drinking tea and talking about conspiracy theories while I paint random things. And my reds, red, fucking, what thing is this? US Art Supply, yup, lemon yellow. I have a lot of white. This is titanium white, it's just white. Um, I don't know what the hell the difference is, honestly. Let's be honest here, Do, does any of us know? Probably, because you're all more competent artists than I am. So, the first, uh, consp- oh shit. The first conspiracy theory, the flat earth theory. And what I think about flat earth theory mainly goes like this. It could fucking be possible, like, you don't know. I'm a firm believer that the government likes to fuck with us, and if that is the case, then we may all be living on a flat earth. Now, this science would dispute and say that that is not in fact true, we build our bridges according to the, um, the fucking curve of the earth or some shit, and I would agree with that, you know? I would agree with that, but um, everything's disputable. So like, you could be sitting there thinking, yeah, oh, the earth is round, we figured that out years ago, but, but the government has been playing with us our entire lives. Maybe they just want us to die on our flat earth. And they think that we're going to be okay on our flat earth because if the general population knows space doesn't exist, what do we all have to live for? Let's be depressed little homosexuals or some shit and all go die. I don't know. This is nice blue. I'm going to fuck it up. That's why I think flat earth is a possibility, though I don't actually believe it's true. It could be. The next conspiracy theory that I'm going to address is see what other conspiracy theory did i have oh shit i ran out of conspiracy theories already oh the next conspiracy theory i thought i would talk about is the mandela effect which i wholeheartedly believe is true for a few different reasons first of all it's fucking berenstein it's not berenstein y'all can get out of my face with that i don't believe you i don't trust you if you think that so you know be like that Ooh, this looks like a sky that's so cool. Maybe I'll turn it into clouds. Also, these aren't going to be coherent uh, paint designs. Um, I just really like to paint shit. It's not good for your skin, but I do that all the time too. Oh shit, speaking of which, I got some on my leg. I wholeheartedly believe, believe is true because of the Berenstein thing. And then um, my dad started playing Max Payne. So Max Payne is a game where your family gets murdered and you have to go on a tirade, you know, fucking people up and shooting them in the face and shit, blowing their brains out. But the point is, oh, they also make really weird um, sound effects. But anyways, the point is, is that my dad had played the longest time using a certain control for the trigger. Now, all of you know about muscle memory. Everybody has muscle memory you know when you when something's changed because your muscle memory betrays you so what happened is 
my dad kept reaching for the trigger to shoot people, but the trigger just wasn't shooting people. But the shooting button was a different um, button, and he was like, "What the hell? This isn't this isn't right. This isn't how we do it out here." And I firmly believe that he transferred universes, and that that's what happened. So all shit aside, also for Breeze and for Brez um, is a big one. I think the Mandela effect is real. More than I think the flat earth theory is real. Flat earth theory is a little more far-fetched, um, really relies on a whole lot of like historical being um, like, like, you know, fucking Aristotle lying to us and shit. Oh wait, Aristotle was the one that wanted it. Anyways, anyways, I think that the Mandela effect is more true because of all the things that you see change around us. And I think the wa most wild part about the Mandela effect is that it could be possible or it could be our memories fucking with us and i know like let me know posted a video about why we probably think the way we do about certain things it's because um the mass population kind of creates their own reality for themselves based on things they thought they saw but uh go fuck yourself let me know because i want to have fun with this theory and um no i don't actually mean that i really like you actually so if you ever see my video i'm sorry i apologize greatly for what i just said Thanks. The next uh, conspiracy theory that I wanted to address is one I actually saw in a Shane Dawson video. I know, who the fuck doesn't know about Shane Dawson conspiracy theories? They're the biggest shit out there. But my point is, there was a video about, was about how um, higher frequencies are being used to brainwash children. Oh, and that's gonna come into play later because I also want to talk about the monarch um, programming theory which is creepy as hell. I got super into it when I was little, thought it was the coolest shit, and I was just super interested in it. But anyways, uh, that media could be brainwashing our children. And you know what? You know what? I don't doubt that. I don't doubt that because I feel like big companies are out here doing some fucked up shit. And I don't think that's very out of far out of the realm of possibility. Oh, I'm running out of paint. Hold on. I don't think that's completely out of the realm of possibilities because of how badly people want to market things to us and control us and what really is the limiting factor to them trying to control our brains and getting into it. Um, hopefully the US government doesn't kill me. I have an Alexa in the kitchen. I hear she listens. She actually heard a video the other day where it said Alexa that she started fucking going off. But anyways, uh, shit, what was I talking about? Um, I think it's completely possible that they could brainwash kids because imagine you were a very high person of power, you had a lot of money and access to the best technology you could afford, and someone tells you that your music industry is so high up there that you can do literally whatever you want to the population, including brainwash them. Would you pass up that opportunity? You know, a lot of people would say no to that, but, and I... I mean, I would too, but there's some fucked up people out there that would be like, yeah, I'd do that. I mean, why not? I need good money and shit. See? See? It's got, it's got its reason backing behind it. So I think it's completely plausible. I don't know why I did yellow. Yellow's an ugly color. Um, it's completely plausible that they would do some shit like that. Another conspiracy theory that I wanted to address was the monarch butterfly effect. So basically what the monarch butterfly effect is saying is that people were brainwashed um, and go through a certain brainwashing system to think and become a certain person. Now I might be getting those details a little bit wrong because I'm pretty sure I am. I only did like a little bit of research when I watched the video Paramore did, which was, uh, if you don't know what that video is, it's Brick by Boring Brick and she goes through castle, a monarch is big symbolism in it, she talks about living in a fantasy world, and that's basically what the monarch programming is. They brainwash you to have alter ego so that they can control you and use your talent to become big and famous, which is what they think a lot of people have done, like Sasha Fierce uh, being Britney Spears, Real Slim Shady being um, Eminem. And that is wild to me because they that means they're basically manufacturing these people. And again, that goes back to my thing that's like, that was crazy because, and then I, especially when I was like 12 and looking this shit up and being like, whoa, that's so wild! It was, it was a wild concept to me. I think I painted all edges of this box, so I think I'm just gonna stop there. You know, now that I think about it, I wanna try oils one day. Be in that real artist finestry. I was a huge fan of the Monarch Butterfly program thing. I even drew this um, 
Stardew Frog fan art when I was younger. I'll put that right here. Nice. I drew this, I drew that Sergeant Frog fan art um, based off of the Brick by Boring Brick thing uh, in the sense that Angle Moi was part of the Monarch Butterfly program. Oh, I also wrote a fan fiction on that, but let's not get into that. Y'all know where to find it. You don't even know what my username is gonna be. <laughs> the next theory that I fucking fawned over as a child was the Bermuda Triangle theory. And honestly, I used to wholeheartedly believe in this shit. I thought it was the coolest thing ever and I was ready to delve into everything the Bermuda Triangle had to offer. And I even, as a little six-year-old, started planning a trip to the Bermuda Triangle just to see if I'd get fucked up or something. Like, uh, maybe I'd go on a boat and the boat just, like, goes underwater. So that, that would really suck, obviously, but at least I know. At least I'm at the bottom of the ocean and I know. But that never happened. My parents, in fact, did not give me the clearance to do that. That was really unfortunate. They didn't want to let me die or anything. I know what kind of parents don't want their children to die or whatever. <laughs> Just kidding, don't get on me for that. I thought Atlantis might be there when I was little. I don't think that's so much true now because I don't at all believe Atlantis is true now. Maybe I should talk about that later. I don't at all believe Atlantis is true now even though the movie was killer. But the Bermuda Triangle theory essentially goes like this is that there's certain points between the ocean where planes are going down and dying and shit and nobody wants a plane to go down because there's people in there. There's people in boats, there's people in epithockers, helicopters, in all sorts of things and so people obviously die at road. Maybe that's what Amelia Earhart died of. You never know, but I don't think she flew over the Bermuda Triangle. I, what I think of it now is not really that it's some sort of mysterious alien shit attacking us and trying to bring us down specifically at the Bermuda Triangle. Ooh, this is festive. Fourth of July, everybody. I'm so American. I don't think it's extraterrestrials trying to kill us. I don't think it's the government trying to kill, uh, murder us down or anything or like take out a population that knows too much, although I think that's possible. I mostly, at this point, think of it as maybe, maybe there's some radio frequencies out there or just some, like, um, turrets or something that's bringing people down, that's getting, that's getting planes and bringing them down and not in the outness and stuff. It's not really paranormal, which get, I guess doesn't make it as interesting because then it just becomes natural causes and nobody likes natural cause conspiracy theories because then it's just boring and then it's just like, oh, uh, epilepsy or whatever. I don't know where I was going with that. So like at this point, I really wish I could believe that it was, that it was paranormal or something, but I can't really bring myself to do that. I know the lady that just said she believes flat earth might be real on a small possibility chance says Bermuda Triangle's probably not real. I, I mean, you know, to each of their own. I'm personally a dumb bitch, so I, this is what I believe and this is how it goes. Now, if you wanna throw some paranormal stuff in there and try and get me to believe it, that'd be great. Leave a comment in the comment section below. I'm not ending this video, you wish I was. I'm running out of paint. This is too much. I thought I liked painting and I was wrong. Well, it doesn't look pretty, it's not fun. But I'm, I'm, maybe I should, hey, I'm gonna fight you. Fucking aliens, okay? I wholeheartedly believe aliens exist. Whether it's big, whether it's small, like they, there could be organisms in the oceans of Saturn. And y'all are gonna sit here and tell me that aliens don't exist. I'm very passionate about this. Anybody who doesn't believe aliens exist can get off my lawn or I'm gonna spray you, spray you with the water hose. Those are just the facts. Better get off my lawn with this alien hating stuff out here. And I also don't think they'd be malevolent. Oh no. Anyways, I also don't think they'd be malevolent if um if they were to come around. I think they would be just as curious about us as we are of them. Now, that relies on the entirety of our world to be nice to them. And I just don't think that's true because uh, this world sucks. We are ruining our world as we speak. Uh, me too. Sometimes I forget to throw things in recycling. Uh, you know, whatever. Planet destruction. It really highlights who we are as people and how we will treat aliens by the way we treat each other. And without getting on like a, like a personal soapbox or anything, I really think we might be assholes to aliens. I really think that might be true because we are that as people. So then that, that then would rely on aliens to be nice to us. 
which they probably wouldn't because we'd be we'd be like you know shooting them left and right and shit nobody wants that but it would happen because we are dumb bitches as a population not just me sometimes others either way um aliens have to exist somewhere i wholeheartedly believe aliens have to exist somewhere in our grand universe i don't care how exact our planet had to be in order to support life at some point in history or even now some galaxy super fucking far away i think that it is possible that aliens exist and then even even small even small organisms count as aliens even like little microorganisms or something not it doesn't have to be uh green goblins and shit with gigantic ass eyes that say uh, uh we come in peace or some shit like that it can be a microorganism something that you can't even see but if it exists and it contains life and it moves on its own it has to be that, that like that's an alien. I think that conspiracy theory with this shit show of a folder right here. I'm not gonna paint the other side. I'm actually running out of paint. So next uh, piece I paint is this chapstick. It smells like a grandma's ass. Disgusting. Actually, it doesn't smell as bad anymore. It smell it smelled a lot worse when I first used it. You shouldn't use it on your lips. It, it works, but it smells nasty, and you just don't want that scent on your um, on your conscience. I'm actually running out of paint. Oh yeah, shout out to my boyfriend for also getting me this. This was part of the set with uh, with uh, these shits right here. These little acrylic paint thingies. Oh, there is conspiracy theories with products in general and big pharma and this is probably going to be the conspiracy theory that gets me killed is that big pharma and i and i'm not an anti-vaxxer please vaccinate your goddamn children they need to not be little infested little monos or some shit running around with all these diseases like polio i mean how much would that suck but i do believe that there are medicines in our food that are slowly killing us see example number one i feel like i'm getting more dumb by the day and i think the food i eat is a testament to that so why what motivation do i think they would have for doing this sort of thing well i personally think that if everybody else is too stupid to start a business that runs you under then you don't have any competition and you could be running a monopoly behind everybody's backs. And sure, some people would catch wind of it. Some people, like, especially vegans and shit, they'd be like, hey, that's rude. You can't be, like, we, we catch on to your scheme. We're gonna make a business and run you down and whatever. Um, but the majority of the population isn't gonna think that. The majority of the population is gonna be sitting there like, damn, did I watch that show yesterday? And it's gonna be all bad from there and nobody's gonna care. Like, there's gonna be world domination happening and everybody's worrying about <laughs> what the new season of 13 reasons why is like here's my finished chapstick it's fully functional no it's not it's wet i'm gonna put it right there dude i didn't even use my water thing at all i just kind of put my brush and stuff and painted but um i hope you guys enjoyed my conspiracy theories i hope you guys don't hate me for going on a long hiatus and then coming back and cussing and drinking tea and painting random shit and uh talking about my weirdo ass beliefs but um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Tune in for my next Alice Madness Returns gameplay. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I already said that. Bye!